back again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, Fat Food Reviews. We've been to the uh, food warehouse, big food warehouse today, which is Iceland basically. Um, we picked up one of their new products. It's a pizza. It's the Iceland takeaway stuffed crust pizza, uh, doner kebab flavour. So uh, we're going to go down to the worktop as usual and see what's in the box and what's involved. So, as I said before, we've got the Iceland takeaway pizza, stuffed crust, doner kebab flavour. We've got a cheese filled crust. Uh, the description is a cheese filled stuffed crust pizza topped with a spicy tomato sauce, beef kebab, emmental cheese, red onion and garlic sauce. Don't sound too bad, does it? Whether it does in the taste test is another matter. Uh, let's see what else is around the box. So... We've got the cooking instructions there, so it's uh, for best results, cook from frozen. Oven cook from frozen, fan 200C for 18 minutes or gas mark 7 for 21 minutes. Preheat the oven, remove all packaging, place directly onto the middle shelf of the oven uh, for the allocated time. Uh, we're going to look at the ingredients, so we've got the bold allergens in black, which are wheat, milk, milk and wheat. Um, oh, actually, and a celery. Uh, we've got f uh, stuffed crust filling at 15% and cooked beef kebab style at 9%. Uh, there's more on the nutritional information if you wish to pause the pizza. Pause the pizza? Pause the video, sorry. Um, yeah, we've got a weight of 485 grams and the recyclable content is the box but not the film of the pizza itself so let's get this open we're gonna have a look at it without the box on it Get this open. So there you have it. See the ring of the stuffed crust there. Uh, tomato sauce, red onions, and these are the kebab pieces. Just rearrange them a little bit. So, we're going to go and put this in the oven and cook it for the allocated time and we'll be back with you for a taste test. Right, so the Iceland pizza, Donna Kebab pizza, has just come out the oven. So, as you can see, you've got the Donna meat bits on there. I want to go in for the stuffed crust at first. Mmm. It's quite tasty. There's a fair amount of cheese in it. Um, the base is, like the breaded base, is not that um, well seasoned. It could do with a bit more salt and um, a bit more flavour. So now I'm going to go in for the actual doner kebab and tomato sauce bit itself. Mm. Yeah, that's got a good flavour. I'm getting a beefy doner kebab flavour. The smart sauce has got a little tiny bit of heat to it, a little bit of kick to it. That's a tasty pizza. That's the first time I've ever had a doner kebab pizza in my life. Oh, the price of this. Um, Pizza was £2.75. It's a smallish nine inch pizza. Um, so it's fairly expensive. I know you get a stuffed crust and you get a donna kebab pizza. Bits, a uh, bit of another item. It's a tasty pizza. Like I say, you're getting a slight bit of heat to it from the smart sauce. The stuffed crust is quite cheesy. Um, the meat itself is salty, 
herby spicy as well. The pizza base is a bit chewy and tough, admittedly, but the flavour of the pizza itself is quite quite nice, quite yummy. Um, ratings out of 10 for this one. I'd give it a solid 7. Um, would I eat it again? I would, yeah. The only downside, I think, for £2.75, it's quite expensive pizza, and you're only getting a smallish 9 inch, or probably only 9 inch to be honest, probably 7 inch. You know us, man, we like to exaggerate. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, um, it's not a bad product. It's so different from your normal pizzas. The Donna spicy beef, I'm not gonna say Donna kebab because it's not, it, it's not like Donna kebab meat, it's just a spicy beef pizza, really. At the end of the day, I don't think you, unless you get strips of Donna meat bought from your local takeaway and whacked on the top of the pizza, then I don't think you can call it Donna, Donna meat pizza, to be honest with you. So, um, not a lot else I can say on this one. £2.75, you can be the judge of that if you think that's expensive or not. So um, take care, have a lovely day, on to the next video.